I got a good signal here that it shows you an example of one of the things you can do with the F-75. Uh, I heard this first, and generally that's what I do is I listen for the audio. This sounds good uh, until you zero in on the target and listen in. You'll, you'll, you'll begin to hear a little choppiness at the start and the end of the audio. It's not a real smooth beep. Um, and so you'll occasionally get an iron grunt. So this is one of those borderline targets that sounds good, sometimes looks good on the screen, although you'll see the numbers jumping around. But it's almost always iron, and I'll show you a trick at the end. So my first inclination was, wow, that sounds good. Mostly up in the 60s, 70s, 80s, but then every once in a while, you hear that. <clears throat> That's a good indication that it's iron. Now here's a little secret about the F-75. get a signal like that that you suspect might be iron and I suspect this is because of the way it's choppy and it's jumping around and that low grunt bob the coil up and down on it if you only get the grunt or nothing it's probably iron so let's dig this one and see what it is I'm gonna be, try to be careful here So that's a good sized iron target, which is why we were getting a good signal, but it's also an odd shaped target, which was why it was jumping around. It's really impossible to wave your coil over that exactly the same time when you have an odd shaped target, which is why the numbers are jumping around. But because it's big, the numbers are high, um, iron will rust, leach into the surrounding. But that's a perfect example of how you can, you can tell if it's potentially iron before you dig it. might be iron and I suspect this is because of the way it's choppy and it's jumping around and that low grunt. Bob the coil up and down on it. If you only get the grunt or nothing, it's probably iron.